Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be focusing on alcohol ink coloring and we're going to take a look at the Spectrum Noir Collector's Edition kit and the alcohol markers that are included within this kit. In total there are um, five different markers and some of them have a little bit different features so we're going to go through that and we'll get through some coloring techniques and tips too. So the very first thing I want to do is take a look at the different pens that are in this kit. So um, the very first one I want to take a look at is the brush tip. Um, and the difference with this is really just the, the way that you color with it. I mean, it's the same um, theory, the same dark, medium, and light colors that are in it. But the tip of this, of these brushes are brush. And what they do is they allow you to um, do things like hair and fur and get a little more detail in your coloring. And you'll see as I'm doing this flicking technique, um, the bottom, when it goes onto the paper, is more like flat and square, but then it tapers as it, as you move upward. Um, these are two drawings that I, or colorings I did quite a while ago, um, with the dog and hair, but great, the brush is great for that type of coloring. And here's um, another closer look at a bunny that I did that also you can see the detail from the different flicking techniques that you, you would do with this brush marker. The next is the classic marker. And with this one, you have more of a bullet tip and a chisel. Um, it's only one color in the marker versus the tri-blend, but you can see you can do thick and thin lines with it, um, but it colors just the same as the other alcohol markers. The next one is the, um, the which color is this one? <laughs> the pearl blue blend. And again, all three colors, same, but you'll notice when um, you do flicking with this, it's more of a straight the, the bullet nib is straight versus tapered. So you're really not getting the same level of detail that you do with the, um, the brush. For me, I personally prefer to use the bullet. Um, I feel like I have more control with that. The brush is a little looser, so it's a little harder to, um, to blend in my opinion, but they, they're pretty much the same. And here I'm just showing you how you can blend them together. So I start with the base of the light color and then I add in the dark and then I slowly blend in the medium and I feather back out to the light. And you just keep doing this until you get your desired um, look. So here I'm going to step you through um, coloring something that I stamped. These are Stamps of Life stamps, um, which I'm using. And I use an alcohol proof ink so that when you color, um, it doesn't smear. Um, that's really what you want to try and avoid. Make sure you're using the right stamping ink. Um, and I'm doing that same technique. I first put down the light layer, and then I work and add in the darks, and then I go to the medium, and then I feather it back out with the light. Um, it's really important that you kind of do it in this order, otherwise um, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't come out right if you're not blending it that way. Now what you'll notice is I, I put a piece of paper underneath the flower, and this is to absorb any ink that is pushing through the paper, and it should push through the paper. You should be able to flip it over and on the back end of it see um, ink coming through. That means the ink is soaking through your paper, and by having a piece underneath, it absorbs anything instead of it coming back up and into your paper. You want it to absorb down into the next piece of paper. Um, and you'll notice I keep checking to make sure that's happening. Um, I'm going to color the inside in with the other purple that is in this kit, which is the, um, it's called uh, mystic blue, but it has a purplish tinge. It's really very similar to the tri-blend colors, and I just wanted to show you that it does color exactly the same. And you can layer it. Now I'm back with the tri-blends, and I'm hitting it with the dark, the medium, and then I'll go over it with the, the classic again. But it does blend exactly the same as the others. And this is the finished card. You can see I used the green in the kit, which is the sage green blend, and the pink is that floral pink. Um, blend with the brush nib and I also had the classic in there and that's what absorbed through the card so that it didn't come back up onto my paper. Okay, so next I want to take a look at a really fun pen that's in this set, and this is a metallic pen. This is something new that they've come out with and it has three colors on it, the antique bronze, uh, silver ingot, and gold plate. Um, and I'm just showing that I used the post-it tape to uh, mask off a piece of my card and I'm using the antique bronze to just kind of go over the edge and then when I move that post-it tape off which doesn't stick to the paper it's very light stick um, it gives you a really nice border and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side I'm going to lay down the tape and I'm going to use that antique bronze to put a border on this card 
so we could use this for our um, next project. Okay, so next um, I added some stamping um, and what I used was um, the same card with the edging and I used the Finesse, uh, Spectrum Noir Finesse um, alcohol proof ink so that way it doesn't smudge when I use my alcohol markers. And again, I use that post-it tape, it's removable tape, very light stick, and I stamped the, um, the bow and I laid that over the bow that I stamped first, and then I stamped the sprigs. So when I lift it off that tape, it looks like the sprigs are behind the bow instead of cutting through the bow. So that kind of avoided that, and it's called masking if you haven't tried that technique. Um, now I'm gonna use, um, I'm going back to the Tri-Blend um, Pearl Blue Blend, and I'm gonna do the same, you know, light, dark, light to dark, medium, to back to light again technique, and I'm gonna color in the bow with that. Uh, I'm sorry, the, um, the, the marker in this one, you know, you can really use any colors you want, but I was trying to stick close to what came in the set. Um, so this one, I really focused on the, the pearl blue and also the, the metallic pen, which like I said, is, is new. Um, they've never really had a metallic marker like that before. And I have to say, I really enjoyed using this, this pen, um, on this card. I think I used all of the metallic colors, the antique bronze for the edging and then um, throughout the card, I filled in with the silver and the gold as well. And as you can see, I have the paper underneath to absorb any ink that comes through. And um, yeah, it's, it's basically the same technique I just showed in the, in the last card. Um, and I'm not going to color this whole card because it, it does take a little bit of time to go back and forth. But um, the same technique. So here I wanted to show you that you can use the alcohol markers on any kind of cardstock, black, regular cardstock, watercolor, and craft. It does come out a little different on each, so you just have to play around with the colors to see how they perform. Here's the first card that we were coloring in um, finished, and this was just with the markers that were in the kit, just the only markers that were included. And then I used the exact same stamping layout, and I colored it in browns just to show you what that would look like with different markers. Um, really different effects, and I'm, I like both. I'm not sure which I like better. This is the, the bow and the bell um, finished. And again, I used all of the different metallic markers in this one as well to add a little bit of a different color. And then finally, I had a stamping card, just something that was pre-stamped um, that I decided to just color in. And on this one, I focused only on the sage green blend and the, um, the purple pearl blue blend. And I love the way this one came out. So that's the video. I hope you guys get something out of this and are um, going to try out these alcohol markers. And don't be afraid to mix and match them. Um, they blend really well no matter which pens you're using, whether they're the bullet or the brush. And um, I hope to see some of your creations out there soon too. Take care and thanks for watching.